Hey guys, it's Daisy Collins here, and I am here to show you guys my journal. This one is, I believe I'm calling it number five. Um, thanks to Yvonne for getting everybody on that number system. <laughs> um, so this one is just, uh, I believe this is, yeah, this is a cereal box. And <clears throat> its papers inside are just eight and a half by 11 folded in half. So it's like a nice big journal. Um, and on the cover is just some paper from this paper pad here. It's called Tea Party from Craftsmith. In case you wanted to know. Let's check out the inside. Got this nice ribbon on it. And you guys, this will be on sale in my Etsy shop. If you guys want to check it out, I will leave a link down below. So it's pretty basic. I like plain journals. And this one is more for writing. It's a really chunky book. It's four signatures with 10 pages each. Each page is decorated front and back. So that's 80 pages front and back decorated. It's got a bunch of tags in it. I'm not exactly sure how much. The theme of this journal is just florals. Florals and um, tags I guess because I put so many tags in here it might as well be part of the theme too I guess <laughs> and I actually created this live on Facebook live um, at least the first three signatures I worked on live um, within within the last like two months I've been doing live uh, shows on Facebook if you want to check me out add me on Facebook I'll leave a link down below for that and throughout this journal, I have a bunch of printables from my shop. Um, and I have a bunch of these flowers, the decoupage die cut flowers. Those are also in my shop. You can either buy those um, in a sheet printed out or you can purchase them as die cuts, you know, already printed out and cut out for you just like this. And um, they cut out in beautiful detail. I'm really happy with them. Uh, there's so many little like collages and little tags in here. I'm probably going to put a ribbon on that. I didn't know that I didn't have a ribbon. Um, let's see. So, yeah, this journal is meant to be written in. But I also have some collages in here for photos. So you could put a photo on top or just somewhere in the page you could put a photo. And I did include a lot of these tabs with the flowers, if you can see. They're, like, all over the place. And I got that idea from one of my design team members. I can't remember which one. I'm really sorry, guys. Um, I, I It was not my idea originally. I just had to do it. <laughs> it just looks so pretty. And this is just a coffee dyed paper. Uh, all the pages in here are coffee dyed, too. It's just coffee dyed. This is actually uh, coffee dyed and some alcohol inks, too, with that one. So I did a lot of collaging. This page is an extra page on that. Little tuck spot right here. Oh, I just love these bees, you guys. Look how cute they are. And then they glimmer in the light. Oh, so pretty. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I get excited. And I have a lot of these um, ephemera pieces that I was explaining on my Facebook Live videos that my mother gave me a bag uh, she got somewhere. And it had a lot of um, these little ephemera pieces on it. So I just cut up the bag. It was great. Great idea on that. And then, oops. What happened here? Oops, just got a little glued down. So here we have some ephemera I found on the internet. And this page, this uh, postcard here is from Michael's, just their dollar stash. Some more of those die cut flowers. Another thing from Michael's one dollar bin. Don't they get you? You're on your way out. You got all your stuff. Oh my god, it's only a dollar. Let me get it. Yeah. I'm a sucker for that. They know what they're doing. Just have some coffee dye tags and some little inserts for photos or for little notes. Another little collage there. I really like doing these flower collages. I, I really enjoy it. And then on this page, I just put some stamps going down here in the side and a piece of ephemera here. <sighs> some more little collages, space for writing. Um, yeah, and on this one here, I put a, like a f button. Yeah, I put a pearl button on that tag. 
And so this is just like a mishmash of colors. Nothing, not one color was used or something. This is from my store, these new envelopes. I love them. They're so pretty. Here we go. And everything in my store right now, you guys, is buy one, uh, buy two, get two free. So if you get two, uh, four items in your cart and you use the code B2... G2F, so buy two, get two free, B2G2F, um, you will get uh, half off your order uh, of four items or more. So everything comes out to be about two fifty dollars once you use that coupon. And isn't that awesome? So I have these decoupage flowers there too. These uh, ephemera pieces there for my kits. Everybody seems to really like those. I added on here a little notepad, paper pad, a piece of ephemera, and then underneath all that, I put a tag. So it looks like it's part of the book, but it's just on the page. Some rub-ons there. Collage here with a vintage postcard. Just some collages. Ugh, I love, I love doing these collages, you guys. They're like my favorite part. <laughs> They're probably what takes me so long to decorate these books, but they are really my favorite part of making these uh, junk journals. And let's see here. And if you guys love making junk journals too, if you guys do YouTube videos, um, I am looking for design team members. So you would just have to like make one journal a month using the printables that I uh, provide to you. And yeah, you'd be part of my team. I would love to have some more, some new YouTubers out there that really like my designs. I, like I said, I give you some free stuff every month to work with just to make a YouTube video. So hit me up on that. You can either hit me up on my Facebook, uh, Tsunami Rose at Yahoo.com. Uh, just get at me. Let's see here. I've got some more ribbon here. Seam binding tape, I should say. Another one of those papers that I stained up with some alcohol inks and coffee. I really like how that came out. Looks really nice. Another tuck spot here. Another collage. I just have so much fun with these. And then look at coffee dyed a tag. Stuck it on there. <laughs> okay, so I got these. Ugh, look at these cute little paper clips I got. It's probably upside down. It's like a little person. <laughs> so let's see, here's another piece of paper I coffee stained. And this is just a little envelope that I recently purchased online. That I recently purchased online on using the Geek app. Don't don't download that app. It's really addicting. It's called Geek. <laughs> Geek app and you it's like a dollar store online. I love it. There's some printables there. I really like how this collage here came together. It just, it gives me life. I love it. It's like, yes. Okay, some more pictures, some more spots for pictures here. Uh, here we have some more journaling space, some more collages, collages. All these stuff is printable from my store. Here's a, this is just, I found this online, and I use one of my um, tiny French cards is what I call it. And there, some collage work there. This little piece from my stash. This is just a journaling tag. I just thought it went really good with this paper. Collage here. I never really go for like a certain color scheme. I just... And whatever goes good together on that page, or come like this page and this page will go together. That's just how I do. But I have to decorate every page. Oh my goodness. And I don't know quite why, but I feel like I do. Here we go. Awesome. Myself, and I'm going to do a color theme journal. What color should I do? Leave your suggestions down below, and I will let you know if I pick yours, because I need to get working on another one. I am, like, addicted to these now. What colors would go good together? I don't know. I need your help. Let's see here. Some more printables. This is just, um, 
I have these like seed plant uh, catalog images and these are actually really big. These actually print out, both of these would print out big on a whole page, but I shrunk them down. I think I did like quarters or fourths on my printer and they come out like little cute cards. There's a postcard inside another postcard. Crazy. Little fairy there. We are best friends. Envelope here from one of my journals. And here's a, a card that is supposed to be really big and there's an envelope for it. Um, but I printed it really small. And this is the card that goes in this envelope. But I made it into tuck spots. Ugh. Sorry, I did this with uh, the tape, the double-sided tape. Maybe that was a mistake. Okay, here's a coffee stain postcard, I mean, postcard index card. Some more of those cutouts from that bag. Some more collaging with those die-cut flowers from my store. Uh, this quote is from one of my journals, and then I really enjoyed stapling on little random pieces of, of lace for my stash. I don't, I never noticed how many little pieces of lace I save. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, here's another collage there. I really like that one. It's really pretty. I love flowers, you guys. I keep doing flower-themed journals, but I really like flowers. <laughs> So it's never like, flowers again, you know? It's always like, yay, flowers again. <laughs> and these are for my um, Life of Bloom journal. Here's another little collage for flower, uh, for a photo or to journal. Something just stuck on the page and a card here. A library card for my shop. This is from Charming Fragments. And just a nice collage in the back. And then each of these, uh, each of the covers has a pocket that you can put stuff in. That's the whole journal. Uh, please give a, a thumbs up to this video if you liked it and subscribe. And also, um, like I said, I'm looking for design team members. So if you like to make YouTube videos and junk journals and you have a printer, hit me up and I would love to have you on my design team. Like I said, I'll provide you with a special discount code for the shop and also free printables every month. And don't forget that my printables right now in my shop are buy two, get two free if you use the code B2G2F. Thank you guys very much. Have a great day and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.